So I just got my new iPad Air in, and I kind of have a tradition with these. Since I work at Epilogue, I can always engrave them so and personalize them however I want. And my favorite way to do it is to take a vacation photo and put it right on there. So this time we're gonna be doing this photo from Delft. And this is in the Netherlands, beautiful, beautiful place to visit, highly suggest it. You can see here that I've got my full color photo and all I do to get it ready for engraving is I take it into Photoshop and convert it to black and white and inverted it. Uh, you get a really nice engraving on anodized aluminum when you've inverted a photograph. No other processing is really needed. And one thing you might notice is we're actually going to be doing this on a Mac. Uh, we're going to be showing off today Ap uh, Epilogue's new Mac driver. It's a beta version we've come up with for the Fusion. We're really excited about this. So all we're going to do is I'm going to print it. You can see it's all set up here. Hit print. And it's going to pull up a preview then in the print driver so I can set up all of my settings right here. It just takes a second. You get a really nice uh, preview of it so you can see exactly what's going to print at the laser. Now I'm going to come in here and just click Edit Settings. Choose my job as just engraving. I'll be doing, uh, I'll change this to bottom up. I always like doing it that way. And the other secret for engraving on anodized aluminum with the photograph is change it to Stucky. It does a really nice engraving job. I'm going to do this one at 100% speed. And this is a 75 watt of the Fusion. So I'm going to do this at about, I'm going to do it at 18% power. Click OK. and print. And it's on its way over to the laser. So let's bring it over here. And we've already set this up with some spacers. And what that's going to do is allow me to engrave over the edges of the iPad, which is exactly how I want to set it up. Come over here to my job. Okay, so the job's there. Make sure it's all focused. That's focused in place. And hit go. So everyone's always a little nervous when you're engraving something like this because you never know exactly where it's going to engrave. So uh, the secret to it is we actually use our red dot pointer to lay out the template of the iPad so we can see the exact placement of the engraving. Oh yeah, starting to see it here now. Getting a nice white engraving. This, the anodized on the iPads engraved so well. This is the first iPad Air we've done, but uh, looks like we've got the setting right on. Take a look at that. There's nothing like a photograph engraved on anodized. 